How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Survival Series. Um, so you're probably wondering why do we have a trailer attached to the truck? Because we haven't actually taken a job yet and we're not in the middle of a delivery. So I'll tell you why. Um, we ended up in San Diego in the previous episode and at the moment we are in a service station here, well, or a gas station. Uh, I just had the truck serviced over there, and I picked up a load over there. So, um, yeah, I, I think our drop-off was over here, and then I did a pickup over there. The reason I did it off-camera is because there was only 10 minutes left to actually get it, and it was the only job that was going up the coastline. So it's a small job. It is 18.3 tons of tires, and we're only getting, getting paid $636 for it. But it's literally, it was the only job that was going up this way. Everything else was heading back this way uh, to sort of New Mexico area. And I don't want to do that. We want to try and go up this coastline. So yes, that is why um, I grabbed the load off camera. And I do apologize for that because I generally don't do that. Um, but I haven't done any driving or anything like that just yet. So basically just filled up with fuel, got the truck serviced. We've got a little waypoint here to unlock that um, hiring center. And then we're going to carry on up the road here. We'll unlock a Kenworth dealer there. And there's another uh, hiring center over there at our drop-off point. And it's only a 100-mile trip. So that's why we're only getting paid $600 for this. Uh, but the idea is basically just to get up to Los Angeles and grab another job out of there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get straight on the road. And this should be a good one. It should be a, a, a quick one. Uh, but it should be good. These are all new roads. Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks for waiting. I really do appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be mostly new roads. Well, actually, I think it's going to be all new roads. I don't think we've driven around here just yet. Um, which is going to be cool. All looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can see some of those coastlines. That'll be fantastic. That's the whole point, is to get some really, really good scenery out of this, hopefully. And yeah, we're just gonna really try and sort of stick to the coastline. Even if we had to have to do sort of shorter jobs to do that, right I'm fine by that. Uh, there we go. This is unlockable. Beautiful. And um, yeah, so I'm I'm fine with doing shorter routes like this, like hundred mile routes uh, or jobs, not routes. Uh, I'm, I'm good with that. As long as we're sort of heading the right direction and we can drive up the coastline. Um, someone's beacons are really, really freaking bright. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with doing these smaller jobs. Money feels like it's not really that important right now because we have drivers that are bringing in some money as well. So we're not the, the sole earner for the company anymore. Which means we're, we can sort of take more jobs that we kind of want to rather than have to. Which is nice. Which is kind of the whole idea behind getting the drivers in the first place is obviously to grow the company but also to give us some sort of freedom. Or at least a little bit more than what we had. So yeah, we've basically got a, a, a really big trailer. Um, well, it, it's big for a box trailer. Ooh, there's doubles going up the road there with some hay bales. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a mahusive trailer like anything like a special no transport, but it's a pretty big trailer for a box trailer. I think it's one of those 48 foot or 50 foot or whatever they are. Uh, I think it's one of them. So it's a decent sized trailer for a box trailer and it's a decent weight, 18.3 tons, uh, which is dead. I mean, it's half decent. Not too bad at all. Turn right. Uh, leaving San Diego. All right, noted. But yeah, so like I said this is going to be a really, really tiny job. You're going to give me some space. Thank you. 
And yeah, I don't think there's any other roads that we could have taken for this job. Is there like a, oh, there's like a kind of a coastal one. Hmm, we could go around there. That's two hours, 20 minutes. That is two hours, 41. Yeah, let's do that. Let's unlock that little bit. Uh, actually, no, because I want to unlock that and that Kenworth dealer. Okay, we'll leave that for a later job. I'm sure we'll get a Chevron drop at some stage anyway, because they pay really well. Um, so we'll stick to the route that we've got at the moment. And um, yeah, try and... But, but we'll sort of try and hug the coastline as much as we can. Unfortunately, we're not going to see much of it on this job. Um, but after this, hopefully we can get some really nice jobs going up the coastline towards sort of Washington. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll just sort of change the route so it's not the ideal route. It's sort of the scenic route. And yes, we might be late for a couple of jobs because of it. Uh, but if it's not like massively big loads, like oversized loads, we should be fine. Like I said, we we can basically, we've got the luxury of taking jobs now that we actually want to take and not, and that we absolutely need to. I mean, we still want to make money, but our drivers are making money now as well, which is great. It seems like that was a good investment that we, that we did. And talking about investment, I think our loan is going to go off in about half an hour. I think our first loan installment of $1,500 will be deducted in, yeah, about 20 minutes time. Which is going to be interesting because um, it'll sort of get, give us a slight indication whether our drivers are covering the loan or not. I think they're close to it. I think they're close to covering the loan. Um, and with what we're doing, we're sort of just topping it up and making a little little bit of money on top which is which is fine as long as they're sort of paying for themselves i'm good with that there we go there's the loan installment uh let's check it oh it doesn't show on the root advisor now but yeah i think that was the yep it was okay because we're on 170,000. we were on 172 but i Keep left. Got some fuel, and then the thousand five hundred dollars loan went off. Yeah. Okay. So um, there we go. Our first little bit of the loan is paid for, which is great. And a little bit scary, to be honest. Uh, but good news is we are just about halfway through our trip already. Which is kind of cool. Um, obviously, trips are going to take a little bit longer because of the 55 mile an hour speed limit. We can't be barreling down the highways at 80 miles an hour. Uh, which, I'll be honest, I'm going to miss. But I really want to see these sort of coastal roads and keep it'll be great. It. It'll be very, very nice. Alright, keep left. There we go. Ooh, there's a fuel tanker going over there. A red one that... What are they? Exxon Mobile or Mobile? Exxon Mobile or something like that. I like their trailers. The, their trailers actually fit our truck pretty well. What is that? Oh, it's a little box container. Looks like a pretty tiny load. I don't think we've done a container yet. Like a box container, like a shipping container. Uh, there's an empty load. That was, was that a BP? I think that was a BP. Probably petrol or diesel or something that he's got going. There were some cables that I just saw, those big cables. They're pretty damn heavy, those cables. I always find it weird when we see them on the road, like in real life. You see this big truck with a big trailer and there's got one sort of coil on it. And they're like, that seems like a massive waste of space to have that big truck with that big of a trailer and it's got like one Keep right. coil on it. Then take the exit right. It seems so tiny compared to the truck, but that thing is so heavy. 
that that's literally the only thing it can carry. It can't carry like two or three of them at a time. Uh, at least the ones that they move around in South Africa that I've seen. And I've seen them pretty often actually. Because um, obviously a lot of mining and refining and things going on in South Africa. But yeah, it's, it's kind of cool if you see them, but it's kind of weird. Like I say, it just it just seems like a, a big waste of space. Do we need to go in here to unlock it? We probably do. Please ding. Oh, okay. I have to go in. Oh, really? Really? You couldn't have just done that. <sighs> anyway, okay. Make a U-turn. I'm just gonna go over this little sidewalk here. We're in a truck after all. It's not going to hurt it. And now we're going to get a red light as well. So now I have to sit and wait. Thanks game. I really do appreciate it. Turn left. Alrighty. What town are we in? Oh, we're in Los Angeles already. We're only 10 miles from our destination. Wait, what? Oh, come on. That took so long to change that I thought I'm sort of way ahead of the gun here, but nope. All good. That's a multi-story parking. That's pretty cool. We only have like those multi-story stuff at like train station and bus stations. Well, the like three train stations that we've got. Uh, that you would actually dare use. Um, well, that's a story for another day. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, we've only really got those multi story stuff at um, airports. A lot of palm trees around here. And I think we're actually driving straight through to the coastline, so we might actually see the beach, or at least the ocean. Go straight. I, I'd be happy just seeing a, a massive body of water here. Go, 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 go. Why aren't you guys going? Oh, it's green for turning, not for straight. Never mind, my bad. Range Rover. I would really, really like a Range Rover one day. I just like them. Well, I suppose no one would say no to one. Well, maybe. I don't know. I just like them. Go Although, straight. I don't know. I've got an opinion here. And you know what? Why not? I've got six miles to give my opinion. I think there's a difference between SUVs. And there's, there's a class short in SUVs. You should have a SUV and which is sports utility vehicle and then you should have an OUV which is off-road utility vehicle because I drive what is effectively an SUV in real life and it's a big three and a half ton 3.2 liter turbo diesel uh, Mitsubishi Pajero and that thing is an off-road utility vehicle because that thing is an absolute beast off-road it's got center differential it's got rear differential it's got uh, low range it's got crawler gear i mean that thing has got just about everything you need to do proper off-roading the only thing it hasn't got but you can add it quite easily is a front locking differential but it doesn't actually need it that thing is an absolute machine off-road where something like a BMW X5 is not a machine off-road in fact straight. you'll get stuck in your driveway if there's too many leaves on the ground in fall so um, great vehicles very very nice vehicles uh, I don't have a problem with them I'm just saying they're not in the same class I mean I would not take this Range Rover that is next to us over here, which is very beautifully on display, 
I would not take that to Botswana or Namibia on a two-week off-road adventure. I would take my Pajero though. And I would take a Land Cruiser VX. I would take a Toyota Fortuner. Although I don't think many of you would know what a Toyota Fortuner is. Um, or a Fortuner, as some people call them, but it's a Fortuner. Um, because I don't think many places in the world has them. I think the UAE has them and South Africa has them. But I've, I've never seen them anywhere else. I know the States Ghosting. don't have them. And Europe don't have them. Uh, I don't know about Japan. They might have them. But I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever seen one like on shows or on YouTube or anything where people visited Japan. So as far as I know, it's only South Africa and the UAE that has Toyota Fortuners. Um, and then the Toyota Prados, they're very good as well, which is a slightly bigger Ghost version Street. of the uh, Fortuner. And the Prado is sort of the same class as the Mitsubishi Pajero. But things like that, that are, those things are off-road utility vehicles. And that's what they should be classed as. Because they do a different job than a normal SUV. They are a lot more capable off-road than something like a, a Range Rover or a BMW X5. Okay, I changed lanes and now it just goes back in. I mean, I know Range Rovers are pretty decent off-road. I'm not saying they're not. X5 BMWs, I kind of know that they're pretty terrible off-road because I, I know a few people that actually drive them and they're not great off-road. They're really not, but it's... A lot of it's down to the tires, but I mean, you can't go put big knobbly tires on a BMW X5 or a Range Rover. It'll look ridiculous. Where you can't really... Well, you can put like low profile tires on a Mitsubishi Pajero, but that looks ridiculous. I've seen it. It looks terrible. They should have big knobbly tires, and that's what mine's got is... Well, mine's got all-terrain tires, um, but they're pretty beefy all-terrain tires with full coverage... Um, bull bar and roof rack and snorkel and I mean that thing can wade water up to geez up to the roof really which is about two meters high it's a big vehicle and yeah I don't know they should be split there should be two different classes there should be SUV and an OUV sports utility vehicle and off-road utility vehicle it's two different things I don't know let me know what you guys think um well, yeah. Turn left. That, that's just my opinion. And at the end of the day, that's really all it is. My opinion. And no one really cares about my opinion. And I'm very well aware of that. And I'm okay with it. I just like giving my opinion. Alrighty. We are coming up to our drop-off point. That truck looks very, very bland. That's about as basic as you can get. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think about that whole opinion there. And I'm not knocking any cars. I don't have a problem with X5 BMWs and I don't have a problem with Range Rovers. I like cars and I like just about any cars. There's very few cars in the world that I don't like. Oh yeah, there, there we go. We can see the ocean. We can see the beach. Oh yeah. That is brilliant. That looks like GTA 5. Um, because I think it's sort of based on that, isn't it? I think it was. There's the whole promenade thing going on and the roller coaster, and that is that is really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think about that whole thing. Do you guys also think that those sort of vehicles should be classed differently? They should be in different classes? Left turn ahead. Well, as far as I know, in the UK, most vehicles aren't even classed as SUVs. They, the SUVs are just sort of classed with people carriers. And there again, that is incorrect. Because, uh, oh yeah, this is definitely what GTA 5 is based on. Because um, a Volvo station wagon is not the same as the X5 BMW. Although in the UK, I'm pretty sure they're all classed as people carriers. Which is kind of weird. But interesting at the same time. You have reached your destination. Um, I could be wrong. That's just what I sort of 
have taken from well talking to people i've got family over in the uk and that but i mean that's just an assumption it's sort of that's what it sort of sounds to me like what's going on um is that most of them are classified just as people carriers Alrighty, this is going to be interesting. I need a really sharp turn here. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. That should be it. Yeah, a little bit over to the side, but should be okay. Very nice. Alrighty, handbrake on, lights off, engine off, disconnect. And that's a, a solid $300, uh, 600, sorry, 636, I think. Yep, 636 and 145 XP. Fan-freaking-tastic, right. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at the job market and hopefully we can get something better that sort of goes up Oxnard, Santa Maria. Ooh, that'll be nice. Tacoma, no, it's too far. I don't want to do jobs that big. Uh, Kenworth Trucks, maybe? I mean, it pays well. And we could just reroute and go down that way. Could do that. Uh, cars. Cars. Uh, Cedar City, no. Reading. Yeah, could do that. That pays pretty damn well. $3.12. No. Furniture. Forklifts. Nope. Albuquerque. Vernal. Reading. Oh, we could do reading. Used packaging. Doesn't pay very well, though. Um, all right. Power generator. Ooh, that's cool. Power generator. Look at that. It's sort of built into a container. That's pretty cool. Construction houses. That's cool as well. Oh, too far. That doesn't pay at all. It's a cool job, though. Concrete tubes. But it doesn't pay very well. In fact, the pay is terrible. But it's kind of a cool job. I might actually consider that one. Um, but so far, Kenworth Trucks um, seems to be the most likely option. There we go. And we've got seven and a half hours to get there. Um, but we're going to look at that in the next episode. I was actually hoping to grab another job in this episode, but it took a little bit longer than expected to get here. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. We'll grab a job in the next episode. It'll probably be those trucks, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, and I will see you all next time.